most advanced geological exploration vessel. I'm the captain or captain. Your guide to the world beneath your feet. Grab a rail, everyone. We're about to begin our descent. I can do this all day. Oh, wait. I do. We're drilling through the 500 feet of topsoil and bedrock directly below the museum. Coastal rivers have been depositing this dirt, clay, and gravel for the last two million years. Thirsty anyone? We fit the Chico Aquifer, a source of fresh water spanning much of the Gulf Coast. Look closely. There are tiny spaces or pores between the grains of this rock. The pores in this formation are interconnected, allowing water to flow. We call this property permeability. Similar porous permeable formations also make good hydrocarbon reservoirs, but we'll have to dig a lot deeper to find them. Downward! Most of this rock, like the sand and gravel above us, was deposited by rivers over millions of years. But the intense heat and pressure down here compressed it into sedimentary rock. Speaking of which, it's getting a little toasty, which is why we're drilling with mud. It lubricates and cools the bit, whisks away rock cuttings from below, and stabilizes the pressure of the well around us. Shale! Shale! Shale ho! Shale is an important rock in our search for hydrocarbon energy. It's a common seal for reservoirs, and some shales are source rocks for oil and natural gas. Out the viewports, you'll see alternating layers of sedimentary rock, sandstones, limestones, and shales. Because of ancient variations in current, climate, and ecosystems, Gulf Coast geology looks a lot like a layer cake. Since hydrocarbons are less dense than the groundwater down here, they migrate upward until they are trapped by a seal they can't float through, like an impermeable shale or whoa! That would be the compressed cap rock with a salt dump. I'll have to throw the drill into overdrive. Salt. Lots of salt. In the early days of drilling, many wildcatters would throw in the towel when they hit this much salt. But I've got a good feeling about this. Let's dig a little deeper. Getting close. We've struck oil! Black gold, Texas tea, one, one, one percent organic rock nectar. You get the idea. The oil down here has been locked in the pores of this sandstone for who knows how long, trapped by the impermeable salt and shale above. But this is only part of the story of what whole tale, we'll have to go back to the beginning. Mother pump, keep touching. Hang on! Welcome to Houston. That is, the Houston of 66 billion years ago. Looks a little different, huh? They sure are in a hurry. Shrinking. 
Lucky for us, blow-up preventer technology made gushers like this a thing of the past. Looks like we've reached our final destination about a century early. Let's get back to the museum. And if I time it just right, they won't have to dig us out this time. Enjoy your visit to the Weiss Energy Hall. And keep us in mind the next time a hydrocarbon reservoir is part of your travel plans. Stand by for hatch opening. Thank you for riding your tour, Victor. Goodbye.